Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create profile screen and also the screen in which user is going to update its profile. Basically if you are following the series you already know that we are creating login filter application series but if you are not following uh, no need to be worried because this tutorial is not dependent on the previous activities. So just a quick recap on the right side you can see we are creating a backend and in the previous tutorial we learned how to use phone number authentication. But before going to start with our CRUD operations to create, read, update and delete, we have to create the profile section of user so we can perform all the operations. So that's why we are going to create profile and update profile section. So let's get started. We are inside the project which is the login filter application. Again, if you are new, uh, no need to be worried. But if you are following the series, you already know that we are inside the lib folder and inside the source. You can see we have created this structure which is the feature first approach. And inside the folder structure authentication contains all the login signed up logic and also the screens whereas the core contains previously we designed dashboard inside it and today we are going to create the profile and i have two stateless widgets the first one is the profile screen and the second one is update profile screen both are stateless widgets and both have a scaffold single child scroll view in case if there is a small device so our design does not crash and also all the prerequisites have been added all the images inside this inside the profile once the image is added head back to the constants we have not added any colors in the image strings over here you can see i have added the image so instead of calling this variable we are going to call this variable t profile image inside the code then inside the text strings these are the text strings that i have created and we are going to use inside our project after the constants head back to the pubspec.yml file and inside you can see inside the icon packages this is the package that i am going to use which is a line for awesome flutter icons in our application so i'll drop the link in the description of this package and also you can get the complete code from the description below which is coding with t as well as if you are following the series or if you want the previous code you can watch both youtube playlist link and also the code and resources playlist link in the description below so without wasting time let's get started inside our profile screen before directly start coding with the body first of all we need to create an app bar which contains one back arrow center title and trailing icon so we have a property which is the app bar called the app bar the first one is the leading icon so we am going to use icon button over here on press will be null but we are going to use this back arrow to go back to the previous screen so for now let's add icon icon and inside this icon i'm not going to use material icons but we have line awesome icons dot angle left after the leading icon the second property is the title add a text e profile text and as a style i'm going to use theme style theme has already been created in the previous tutorials you can get the link in the description headline 4 will be used for this app bar heading after the title let me also just run the application click on the login we are basically inside the welcome screen so we can go for the sign up and login we have a login created click on login okay using credentials we are login and we are inside the dashboard but previously in the previous tutorials when we are going to click on this we added a logout functionality but today i have just calling the profile screen so let's click on it and you can see the profile screen with the back arrow and center text now as uh, actions we are going to create another icon button on press is again null for now create another icon again we are going to use line awesome icons dot moon in here let me just save it and you can see it's showing the moon over here but in here we want to achieve that if there is a light mode on the icon should turn to the dark mode and if dark mode is on it should turn to the light mode and when user is going to click on it it should change the screen mode first of all let's try to see that what is the brightness of the screen using a media query dot of context dot use the platform brightness if it's equal to brightness dot dark if the platform brightness is equal to dark this means that is dark is going to be true if it's not it's dark will be false so let's use this is dark inside the icon is dark question mark means if it's true it's dark then we are going to use the icon called sun and if it's not dark means it's light then we are going to use moon over here now let's save it you can see as the screen is light it's showing the moon icon let's turn it to the dark mode and over here you can see the sun icon when user is going to click on this later on we will add the functionality change it back okay our app bar has been completed now let's start coding with the body 
first of all we need to add some padding inside the container padding will be of default size as a child as all the layout is vertically so we are going to use the column widget for the children of the column the first thing we need to create an image so for the image i am going to create a size box with a width and height of 120 and as a child of the size box i am going to use an image as an asset image and again the t profile image has been declared over here now let's try to save it and you can see the image has been created but there are two things it's first it should be circular and then it should be in the center so to make the image circular wrap this image widget press alt enter wrap it with a widget called clip or rect this is not clip rect this is clip or rect you can see two ors so might be you used clip or rect and there will be no radius for that so border radius is border radius dot circular and pass 100 inside it let's save it and you can see image shape change to circular roll or l to align after the size box let's add some space and two text as a text you can see the first one is t profile heading and its theme is headline 4 and the second one is body text 2 with the profile subheading let's save it and you can see we have text which is a heading and subheading next we need to add a button but first let's add us some add some space and and then as a button we are going to use elevated button on pressed is null as a text as a child we are going to use a text property the added profile let's save it and you can see button has added to increase its padding or its size we will wrap it with the widget called size box and at the start i am going to give width as 200 let's save it and you can see width has added and as our textile i'm going to use textile with a dark color control alt l and then we are going to use the style property to style the elevated button because we don't want this black default color so use elevated button dot style from first of all let's change its background color background color is the primary color which is the yellow one and then we want to make border side dot none make sure that there will be no border side and again we want to change this shape to stadium border shape let's save it and you can see our button is ready okay, after this button we need two things add comma control alt l okay after this size box which is basically a button we need some space using size box and then i have created a divider control save because divider is going to cover the complete width that's why now the, our design is in the center and that's why i have not added anything for the column to make it in the center or to push it in the center because by default column main axis is in the center okay i hope you can see the divider it's over here once the design is added after the divider we need to again add some space with the height as 10 and after this now we need to create a menu section over here for the menu section i am going to use the list style property to create a menu so list style has a leading property as the leading element is going to be inside a circular box so that's why i'm going to use container width and height will be 30 then inside we need to create a decoration because we need a circular border with the background color so let's add a box decoration first thing we need to add border radius border radius dot circular add 100 then we need a color so we will use action color dot with opacity and opacity will be 0 0.1 because this is the background color so that's why i'm using with opacity and it's 0 0.1 Control alt l to align go to the box decoration inside this container we are going to create an icon and it's again going to be line or some icon and its color is going to be t accent color without adding any opacity now let's save it and you can see we have an accent color it's so close so let's add some width and height okay now it's fine once the leading property has added let's add a title add a text and as a style of the text i am again going to use theme dot of context body text one and now let's save it and you can see text is appeared for the title we have a trailing property again trailing is an icon and again trailing requires container with a widget with an icon as a child widget so let's copy it paste it over here it's not that big so let's convert it to 30 its background color is going to be colors.gray and it's with opacity 0.1 but over here the main icon will be the gray icon okay, now let's save it and you can see the first menu has been created angle right and also we need to add its size as 18.0 let's save it and you can see our first icon has been created so because this list style cannot be repeated five times so the same code will be repeated again and again 
So the best practice is to right click and refactor it as a Flutter widget, extract it as a Flutter widget, name it for file menu widget, extract it, at the top add a comma, control D five times and you can see our menu has been created. But now because we want to change icon, which we, we want to change the text and also we have an on press so inside this class. Let's add all the variables. So the first one we can change title, we can change the icon, we can change or we can handle differently on press event using a void callback. Then we have an end icon because if we want to show the end icon as in the sign out sign, we don't need to or we don't want to show the end icon. So that's why you have created end icon property which is a boolean. And then as a text color, if we want to change the text color because for the sign out, we are going to change the text color to red. So we want these properties or we want to declare all of them inside the constructor like this. You can see it's required title icon and on press is required. Whereas end icon, uh, you assign the value is true and the text color is null. So if nobody wants to pass the text color, it's not going to give an error. Now at the top, let me just remove and start with the first one. Okay, you created all of them, but we want to also initialize these all values over here for the on press icon is giving an error because we need to have a constant. So I've added an icon title and for the on press, we need to add the on tap function and pass the on press because whenever this list tile will be pressed or the on tab will be executed, this on press will be called and whatever has been passed to this will be executed after this you can see we have two icons and icon and the text color inside the training property you can see before creating a container we want to see end color and icon if it's true if someone has passed the end icon then we want to use this container otherwise we are going to pass it null if someone wants to use the end icon by default it's true means everyone wants to use this end icon then all the time container will be created. If someone by default pass the end icon as false, then end icon this container will not be created else the null will be created. And let's say if someone wants to change the text color, by default you can see we have applied the body text one theme, but we also want to change the text color. We have received at the top. So what we can do is we can add a question mark because body text one can be null dot use the apply property inside we have a color and we will assign our text color so this text color will be over here now at the top for the last menu you can see the title is logout and icon is this one this is the text color which is red and icon is false means we don't want and icon and then on press is currently null. We can easily call the logout event over here. So let's save the code. Now you can see we have five icons. The divider is over here, right after three menu icons. Then we have some space and two icons. Whereas the logout don't have any forward icon and also its text is change. Now let's try to turn our design into dark mode. And let's see, you can see our icons are not visible and rest of the application is looking very much perfect. So that's why we are going to change them inside our custom profile menu widget inside the build method. Let's create the dark, dark property same like we have created at the top platform brightness is equal to brightness or dark means if it is dark, then we want to use the icon color as means if it's dark we want to use the primary color otherwise we want to use the accent color as an icon color so instead of inside our icon here you can see we are using the accent color we will replace it with the icon color and also with the opacity we will replace it with the icon color so when it's dark it's going to use the primary color which is the yellow one when it's white it's going to use the accent color now let's save it and you can see our icons color has been changed let me again turn back it to the light mode and you can see all the values has been changed all the design is changed and also at the top icon is being changed now when the user is going to click on this edit profile we want to switch towards our next screen so let's first extract it from here remove it inside the profile create a directory called widgets create a new file the file menu dot dart import material library paste the code import all the required libraries and back over here to all this library and we are good to go control or tell to align you know when this size box is going to be pressed we want to call our next screen so use a fat arrow to call get dot to because we are using get state management so we can easily call get dot two and again we are going to use the fat arrow to call our update profile screen which is the next screen the constants 
save it hit on the edit profile and you can see edit profile has been called and, and you can see edit profile is empty you can hear the top most uh, the thing we have left which is the icon next to the image so this is the image box first want to wrap this with a column widget because it contains the children so now we don't need column we need a stack widget now stack has a children the first children is a size box now we need the second children like over here we created a container so same like this let me just copy it paste the container change its width and height to 35 again the decoration will be border radius as 100 which is to make it circular and then as a color we are going to use the primary which is the background color as icon we are going to use again line of some icons with a pencil icon this is its color and its size control alt l to align now let's save it and you can see the pencil icon at the top but we want to place it at the bottom so we will wrap this container by pressing alt enter wrap it with the widget use a position widget so position bottom will be zero and also right will be zero let's save it and you can see the pencil icon has been created currently its icon you can change it to icon button and also you can wrap this position or the container widget with a gesture detector again it will be clickable now our design is completed head back to the update profile screen and inside the screen we need the same app bar and we have a same image with an icon so let me just copy and paste it over here as an app bar we only need a leading icon as a back back arrow and also title will be the edit profile save it when we are going to click on this edit profile you can see we head back to the edit profile but as a back button I just again use the fat arrow and use get dot back property which is again the state management of getx property import the library and get dot back is going to get us to the previous screen so let's click it and you can see we have head back to the previous screen okay same like the previous screen we have a single child scroll view with a container and default spacing then as a column we have a stack widget the same image and a pencil icon that we created but instead of the pencil icon we are going to use the camera icon over here let's save it click on edit profile and you can see the same effect over here now let's close the stack which is the image let's add some space and then we are to create a form inside the form as a child we are going to use a column widget to stack all the text fields as a column widget let's use text form field we add a children the first children is text form field and inside the text form field we have a decoration property decoration will be input decoration now to add the decoration or add the input decoration let's head back to authentication inside the screens go for the sign up sign up form widget and you can see we have all the things created already created so just have to create a text form field name the controller currently we don't need a controller we only need a decoration label will be the text and this is the prefix icon so let me just copy all the fields from here and if you're wondering that how this design has been laid out you can see everything is black when we are going to select it and when we are going to change the theme the color will be changed so you just have to watch the sign up video and also the login video inside the utils inside the theme you can see we have already created a theme widget which has all the text theme, app bar theme, elevated button theme, outline button and input decoration theme. So this is the input decoration which has both light and dark input themes. So you can watch the previous videos or you can get the code from godingvt.com. If you want this design to be rounded, just go to the themes, open the text form field and inside you can see we are using border over here which is the outline input border inside you have to call border radius and border radius dot circular pass 100 inside it and we have to remove the constant from here same you have to copy and paste it for the dark theme and remove this constant once done you just have to press the hot reload and now you can see all the border shapes has been changed when we are going to click on it it will be turned like this because we have a focus border and again the focus border has a width with the border side again you have to call the border radius dot circular over here remove the constant and that's it again press the hot reload click on this icon go to edit profile and when we are going to click on this now you can see these are perking 
working pretty fine so this is how we create the text fields now the last thing is we need to create a button next the last thing we need to add some space and the same button that we have created previously which is the yellow background and also have a stadium border shape so let me just add some space let's save it and you can see the button has been created but if you want to make this button to cover the full width you just have to we can either wrap it with the expanded widget or we can change the width to double dot infinity let's save it and you can see button is covering the full width so now if you want to add some other text you just have to use the row property because we have two elements as a children of the row the first one is the rich text text dot rich using text span okay inside the text dot rich you can see we have a text span the first text is joined its style is simply small font size and then as a children again we have used another text span its style is bit change which is a bold now let's save it and you can see the text has added at the bottom after this text dot rich span we want to create another button so this button is going to be again an elevated button so it's simply an elevated button on press is null as a child a text which is a delete text as a style we have elevated button dot style from background color is red accent with opacity 0.1 now let's save it and you can see we have to add some few amendments first remove its elevation to zero we need to add its foreground color as well which is colors dot red and also we want to change its shape to stadium border shape let's save it and you can see effect has added but we want to remove its side border side dot none let's save it and you can see the border has gone no to add space equally space between the two elements of the row we have inside the row main x is alignment main x is alignment dot dot space between let's save it and you can see we have a delete button and also the date joined on this date so this is what we have created today we learned today i hope you learned something new you can get the complete code from the description below which is the codingwithtea.com and also the previous code and all the themes inside the codingwithtea.com if you learn something new please like the video and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe because more amazing videos are coming i hope you learned something new thank you for watching take care allah office